Hi guys, it's Kara with The Bag Holder as well as Today's Living. And speaking of The Bag Holder, we're going to make a five minute no mess meatloaf using The Bag Holder. The ingredients are simple. You need ground beef, ground chuck, ground round, whatever you choose. A pound or so, a little bit more is great because you can always use the leftovers. And this is a recipe you can double, freeze one, make one. Then salsa, and it does not give it that Mexican flavor, I swear. It tastes phenomenal. From the onion powder, powder, garlic powder, the onions and the peppers and the tomatoes that you would put in your meatloaf normally, separate, is all right in here. And then you need one egg. Now let me tell you, a lot of you with the, the uh, New Year's resolution are looking to to uh, cut down on the carbs. So this is a recipe you do not need to put the bread or cornflakes in um, or breadcrumbs in your meatloaf but if you choose to go ahead and add a cup i use panko kind of gets that fiber in there but we're not going to do this we are on the low carb day not diet because it's only going to last one day but we're on the low carb just pop your meat right in here do you see this i'm not going to get my hands dirty you're going to use one jar or actually i use about a half a jar because you can certainly use it tomorrow night use the rest of it with a uh, chicken breast in the crock pot and make some chicken enchiladas then one egg. This is how fast and easy this is. And take the bag off of the holder. I know, you can't believe it. I'm, you are mesmerized with how fast and easy this is. Now, the beauty of using bags, you know, is that you never get your hands dirty or rarely get your hands dirty and there's minimal dishes in cleanup. So we're gonna do this. Just mix and mash very easily. Very simple, same way you were doing if, it, if you had a bowl. The only difference is we're not getting dirty. And if I choose to, like I said, you can freeze it right in the bag. So you've cut down on the steps as well. Now let me tell you while I'm mixing this up, if you're making burgers, because a lot of times I get people that think, oh, well, I can't, uh, you know, I have to form my burgers. No, you don't. Wendy's and Crystal's, White Castles for those northerners, tell you that, that you can eat them just as well square as you can round. And so just make them square like this. You can pat it out. This is just an example. Pat it out and then cut the bag open and cut them right in half, just like that. Do you see that? Just like this, use a spatula. Now you've got four square burgers and your hands are clean. Perfect for camping. But I'm done. My meat is completely mixed. Do you guys see this? Look at this, nothing left to mix. It is ready to go. It is ready to be cooked and gobbled up. Now, use your bag to form it, just like this. Turn your bag right upside down, and then use the top of it, just like this, to just form it in the pan, so that you do, do not have to touch any of it at all, and it's ready to go. Boom, just like that. Now we're gonna pop it in the oven for about an hour at 375. If it starts to brown on top, go ahead and put foil on it. If you're one of those that has to have bacon or ketchup, now's the time to do it. Top it with bacon, top it with ketchup, and bake it uncovered again. 375 for about an hour, we'll see you then.